What's up guys, it's Faithy1256. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So basically in today's video, I'm going to be making an envelope mailbox. That probably sounds very weird, but here's the supplies you'll need. Cardstock or cardboard. I wouldn't recommend using flimsy paper if you're actually expecting to use this for every day, every other day things. So you can use just white, whatever color of cardstock you want, or whatever design of cardboard you want. Um, I'm using white and orange. Um, the person I'm making this for is in a wheelchair, and I get her mail every. I would say other day for her and I feel like she kind of feels a little bit you know maybe bombarded with me and getting her mail so that's why I'm actually just making this hack Um, sorry if you hear the shower and some music. My mom is in the shower. So, here's what you're gonna need. I, I just started off the hack. Or craft, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I already got the paper down. You're gonna wanna use a hot glue gun and a pair of scissors, and that's pretty much all you need. Um, Maybe something a bit heavier than a piece of mail. And it's you're gonna want to make it more, I would have to say, on the longer side. Now I was messing around with mine, so I got them all mumbled, jumbled. Here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to that's crusty. Ew, it's long. Ew, I hate this feeling. Okay. Um, I need another piece of glue. So this is ouch. This is what I'm gonna be doing. It's flimsy, right? Yeah, well that's because we're not finished. So pretty much what this thing won't just stay. So now you've pretty much got that whole thing. You wanna do this. And then do that. And then flip it like up. Ouch. 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 Who knew that hot glue was so hot? Well, that was just my nail. So it's ouch, well I you think when it burns me once, I'd, I'd just learn how to s just don't do it, but nope. So it's pretty flim 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 It's pretty flimsy. That's why I keep adding in hot glue all around it. The smell of hot glue is so disgusting. In case if you don't want to do that, you can just make a bird or puppet. 
so you might have to use a couple different pieces and stuff and you know measure a lot oh yeah and you're also going to need a marker or a pen or something um, maybe isn't orange or whatever color you're using um I think I'm going to use brown ouch that hurt I was just about to test it and I put I went like this on that, and it freaking hurt. Does this still work? Yes, okay. This one doesn't have a scent. So carefully, carefully do that. You might need two pieces of this, like I said, or a few, I don't know. This is so freaking annoying. So you're gonna wanna leave. So come on. Yeah, so if I do that. So mark it right there. Mark it right there. And then So, it's a little more, so this is how long and how wide, I don't know if you could see it or not. Um, right there, those, and those pretty much just help me cut. That's going to be very red, it's going to hurt so much afterwards. But, it doesn't really hurt anymore. It was just a kind of instant shock type thing. What's that? What is this? Okay. And then, what you're gonna do, or I'm doing this step, you guys don't necessarily have to, but if you do this step, be very careful that you don't burn yourself. This marker is so old that clearly it had something in it. Not like, not like, ouch, 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 not like actual something, actually something in it, but like, or maybe just a weird protective seal. This one actually isn't working, so I guess you can say I'm a tad worried. Um, this isn't more of like, a hack this is more just I'm gonna have freaking alright yeah that does start that's the aftermath of those that's gonna hurt for a while Okay, yeah, sorry guys.
um, in C. take about this much or so off. That's what the line was for actually. Guys, I'm sorry. This just hurts so, so much. Okay. So, too big, too small, perfect. Guys, it's literally perfect. Um, I'm about. Uh oh. To get another piece and cut and measure to this part because. Now, these are two sheets. So, okay. So, now, here comes the constructive, very constructive part. So, does it fit? Yes, it looks like it does fit. But here's the thing. If these two were floppy, how is the other, how is, you know, this one going to react? Um, my hopes for this is, um, not that high, like, it's time consuming, so, I don't think I'll need this again, ever. <laughs> just bending it back. Oh, and by the way, guys, when you do use hot glue, please be very, very, very careful that you don't burn yourself because if you do, that could, it could result to real injury, like real injury. So just if you do try this at home and or even not even this, but if you try anything with hot glue at home, be very careful because that you know you could really get hurt and and I don't really want you guys to get hurt. So And if it does get you, the right thing to do to act quick is just stop what it is that you're making with it and go to the nearest sink and, you know, just get some really, really, really cold water on it because that's, that's like a burn mark, you know, like, you know, it's it, like... And yeah, if it's somewhere unusual, it will hurt a lot. 
much more. Ouch. Like, anybody can get hurt with hot glue. It's, it's pretty normal. It's, it's hot. Um. Personally, I don't really know how hot glue gets hot, but I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I didn't really think I got this one right. And, like, um, let's talk more about the person I'm giving this to and, you know. Um, so, she, like, she, she can walk, but it's really difficult. So, she, like, has to come wheeling over, like, since she's in the wheelchair, she wheels over in the wheelchair, and then she has to go backwards into the building to get her mail. Um, my camera's almost dead, so I'll get this charged for like about 20 minutes. Going to like my apartment hallway. And, you know, just show it and, you know, like what I actually mean on how she has to go. So, this is it so far. After working with hot glue, you can commit a crime because, you know, you won't have any um, fingerprints left, so. Also, I'm writing the person's name on it, which I will do that after this video, just so her privacy is not, you know, completely ruined, because that is something that I kind of want to respect on this YouTube channel. that nobody likes because I don't know she doesn't respect anybody. Um, yeah, I have absolutely no hopes for this whatsoever. Um, this obviously is not going to work, but... Um, yeah. This is pretty much just what it looks like. No, it doesn't really look like anything else other than just, just a big old mess. That's what this is going to result in. A big mess. I didn't want The biggest thing for this was that I didn't actually 100% line it up because you know I'm, I'm not using a measuring tape this isn't this isn't and or shouldn't be rocket science but for some reason some way somehow it is I've gone through like three glues three hot glue sticks and all I have left is like three I, wait, no, I went through, f like, four or five already. Yes, these things are pretty cheap, but I don't know the next time I'm going somewhere that just ca carries hot glue gun strips for my size of hot glue gun. So yeah, I burnt myself numerous times in this video. This video is more than 20 minutes long. Um, I don't really have that much 
Like I said, I have absolutely no expectations whatsoever in this. Then what I'm going to do is make like, a lid that you can do this. I don't know if I should just staple it like this. And like what it should go down. Check is it flimsy at all. The sides. It or not flimsy. Good on all four sides, I mean. So yeah, this is pretty much it. I don't really know if I should fold it over to make it a little bit, you know, more accessible. Or if I should fold it like this. Snip, snip, a couple flaps. Holding it like this. So yeah. Something tells me that I'm done and should probably just give up on this thing. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um please give this video a big thumbs up and uh, just I guess subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to see more bad and crappy, um, whatever this is, I guess, you can call it that. Man, mind you, this is supposed to be a mailbox, does not look like a mailbox. Um, sorry for wasting your time, bye!